Hey everyone, this is Daniel Mackenberg. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Have you ever considered the fact that religious people are often some of the meanest people that you'll ever meet? It is so interesting and uh, something to consider because you would think that those who study religion, who study about God, who study whether it's the Bible, whether it's the Quran, whether it's whatever book, and serve whatever God that you worship, that in doing so, those who study them, and I've been one of them too, as I have a bachelor's in theology, that through the study, we would come to find out who God really is what God really thinks and what he really does. Somehow through the study of religion, people get more and more uptight, at times even more and more confused, and end up basically concluding that we serve a hateful God who hates us, that demands things of us, and before you know it, so many leaders, gurus, theologians conclude that we have an impossible list of rules to even live by. I don't know why this happens, but it does. And it is ironic that unless you step aside like I did at the end of 2019 and actually say I will let go of every belief that does not serve me, I will start back from the basics and begin to question everything that I've ever known. 38 years, practically born a Christian, came to saving faith at the age of three years old, grew up in church, pastored a church, a number of churches, in fact. And um, it would all come down to begin to analyze over the last year or so begin to recognize that even what the things that have been taught in seminary, the things that have been taught in a number of churches are not even what God says about himself. God is love. And therefore, an understanding that God is love, it should be an easy case for us to love others. Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. Somewhere along the way, we lose that. It is suddenly again, well, I can't love my neighbor because he offended me. He parked his car on my lawn. He this, that, the other thing. And we go back to the Garden of Eden and appointing blame at everybody else instead of taking responsibility for ourselves. Maybe that's where the true problem is. So many of us are not taking responsibility for ourselves and understanding the ability that we have to be able to create in an amazing universe, and create an amazing life, and we decide to take responsibility for it. It really comes down to choice and understanding and recognizing and waking up one day going, man, I have been taught a buttload of lies and I will no longer believe it. And when you begin to do that, you begin to understand the answer to every question is love. Are you wondering what you should do today? You get up early in the morning, you need to love yourself, you need to love your neighbor, you need to be kind to animals. You know, I recently found out there's significance in flies. Flies actually are, you know, sort of an omen, a sign that shows you that prosperity could be coming. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that until I researched it. There are things happening all around us. I could have just killed those flies, but instead I said, what if these flies, I'm supposed to love the fly too, as pesky as they are. And in doing that, I learned something about flies. There's signs from the universe trying to get our attention to help us understand what we're supposed to be and our purpose upon this earth. Maybe that's why there are so many people who are alive yet dead, who have not fulfilled their purpose on this life because they have believed the lives have been perpetrated by thousands of people over thousands of years. If you can't do it with love, then why do it? If you can't say it with love, then don't say it. 
Love is the essence of all things. Love is the beginning. Love is the end. Love is more important than time itself. Love is more important than success, than knowing it all, than logic. If you can feel or can't feel love with your heart, why be alive? Why even seek to find your purpose upon this earth if you can't feel love? See, love is pretty important. Love is what brings passions into play. Love is what even starts war. Love also ends war. Love is what gets a guy going. And sometimes a lady too. So love is pretty important. So as we are on the break of letting go of the old world, here in North Carolina, we're in phase two of the coronavirus. It will soon be over. But we're entering a new world, a five-dimensional world. I strongly believe it. Things are not going to be the same. The old consciousness must go. No longer can we continue to have low vibrations filled with hate, anger, resentment. But now's the time to forgive. Now is the time to love. Now's the time to let go and to ascend into the great unknown and be filled with amazement because there is another world, another place that yes, the very essence, the very life itself is that of love of peace, of tranquility. I've tasted and seen just a little bit of this world, and I'm so thankful for it. And that's one of the reasons why I'm willing to come in onto this YouTube channel and say a word or two and to encourage my fellow light workers, laborers, star seeds. You know who you are. You're the amazing people upon this earth today that have a message and you have a voice, and you have the ability to be able to share that and help others to understand what an amazing time we live in. I can't wait for us to gather together as a soul family very, very soon to unite together to bring in the new earth, the new changes, the new ways, the new, can we call it normal? I don't know. Is there such a thing as normal? We're fixing to find out. If any part of my videos uh, happen to resonate with you and you are drawn to me, would you be so kind as to hit that subscribe button down there so that you won't miss any of my videos. Feel free to share this video. Uh, I would love to grow my subscribers and get the word out. Happy day to each and every one of you. It's not much longer before we're going to see some amazing things happen. Keep the faith. Stay challenged.